Well, all right. And now we are brought to a point in history that rhymes. When Adolf Hitler was on his rise, he was one of the most popular figures among modernist circles, the not-so-religious pro-secular government and especially pro-central government that would be very different than what America was at the time, that had uh, much stronger states' rights, was very religious, and uh, almost all schools of socialism saw both Britain and the United States as fundamentally the problem because literally, literally because of the problem of they were simply too much their own culture, they would not stop being their culture, and then two, they would not stop with market commerce. It was widely understood by socialists that the problem with socialism was not that it was a system that even could work, it was that as long as there was any form of natural market economics, socialism could never, ever, ever compete or it could compare itself. Uh, it had to obliterate market economics and, has, and, and now everybody's starting to figure out socialists have to, oh, and central planners always have to obliterate culture. This is really what was going on in Germany. As Cost of Discipleship, the book by Bonhoeffer, the man who, as a Christian, decided the highest thing he could do was he and his cohorts attempt to assassinate Adolf Hitler in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the future of humanity. Now, America, the, eventually, what changed everything was when finally the Jews of the United States rebelled and they said, we are going to boycott German goods. And that, that was the thing that scared the Zionists, it scared everybody, it scared the Jews, it scared everyone. So much so that a paper like the New York Times, presidents like, uh, was at that time it would have been not, was, uh, no, 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 because it wasn't Hoover, it was Woodrow Wilson was one of the ones I know he looked the other way because he actually, if I remember correctly, Woodrow Wilson actually really hated Jews. Um, Franklin Delano Roosevelt wasn't terribly fond of Jews either, quite openly so in various comments he made, but it said he basically saw this as an issue, like their issue. Even though Freemasons and uh, Catholics and a variety of groups were all starting to get locked up and uh, assassinated. Um, the New York Times had nothing to really say about it. Basically, the Democratic Party didn't see a problem with this. Let me just put it simply. The Democrats didn't see a problem with it. It was just the problem of central government having to make an omelet, so it had to break some eggs. And this is a problem that the left, the Democrats, the central planners have had ever since. They cheered on Mussolini, they cheered on Adolf Hitler, and then they cheered off Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who was praised by Mussolini as a dictator for the way that Roosevelt took over the economy because of the emergencies that were necessary, where one of the wealthiest families in American history, and uh, then coupled with all kinds of soldier people and finance people and business people, and came up with the New Deal. The New Deal had nothing to do with helping this idea of the working class. The New Deal was a way of enriching wealthy companies, and it was basically just fascism packaged in a way that a lot of Democrats have always loved, and they openly praise it, and it's because Democrats, progressives, and such, they don't care. They don't care if you get genocide out of central planning. They got their central planning. So now, Ukraine. Today I got to watch women get tied up to a pole and beaten in Ukraine and painted green. Because that's what they do there to innocent uh, gypsy women, to Russian-speaking women and men. 
Um, they like specifically humiliating them by pulling their pants down and taping them to a pole and then videotaping it. So that is who now the Democrats are cheering on. Pedophiles, neo-Nazis, black racists, um, BLM, an organization that is a whole bunch of homosexuals who ripped off the black community in the name of, 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 of black junkies, black robbers, and other form, and other black criminals. That's where, that's where we're at. That's where the liberals are at. That's what they have to give everybody. That AIDS and child grooming, uh, school curricula based around grooming children. That's where they're at. That's what the progressives are. That's all they've ever been. They've always been perverts and weirdos just trying to say that they help the working class. Do you think Anna Kasparian, she's not working class. Chunky Yogurt, he's never been working class in his life. He probably is not even descended from working class people. Probably his family were middle class when they moved here. It's like Hassan, you know, all, the, all of them. All of them just per perverted phonies, wackos, lame, you know, kind of lummox. You know, the lummox kind of thing. Hassan has that lummox kind of thing going with him. You know, that you could just tell he's not, he's really not that, there's something about him that doesn't come across like really bright. You know, it's like he's not totally stupid, but you're like, no, but this isn't like a bright person, really. You know, like, this is not somebody who I would, like, have, like, Aperture Incorporated would not have Hassan testing shit. <laughs> Aperture Incorporated would never hire Hassan. <laughs> leave it in the comments. Leave it in the comments. All right. Anyway. Uh, and, yeah. So, that that's, that's basically where we're at. That now... We have this issue of well, okay, so so people show let's let's why don't you just why don't you show some images of 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 people in the middle of Moscow doing this to Muslims? Oh, but you won't because Moscow has one of the largest mosques in Europe, built specifically with the blessing of Vladimir Putin, so as to celebrate the fact that Chechens are a part of the Federation. Because Vladimir Putin's trying to build a, a modern civilizational state. That you could have different people in it, and because it is Russia, it is a Christian state. And it's like, no, no, we can respect your ways. And it has to be understood that we will be respected too. And that everyone can have this respect and mutual respect as long as everybody's armed, everyone obeys the law, everybody knows whose group controls what, everybody, everybody eats. That, that's, that's power. Power is when you set the table and you say, Everyone can eat at this table. That's that's not what the progressives or Democrats have. They don't have that. See, they're they're trying to exclude people from the table all the time. Constantly, they're trying to exclude people from the table, and that's that's not power. That's not power. They don't. They don't. But it's also they they have a very unhealthy misunderstanding of power because of of their complete and total hatred of. Any authority figure that they they don't they don't absolutely agree with, or basically an authority figure who acknowledges them as an authority. Hmm. Yeah, I left the heat on in here, so my mouth split. I got like real bad chapped lips, and like like my lips split. Always happens like when like I get chapped lips. It's awful. Really hurts. Uh, but yeah. So this was just something that I started thinking about that uh, it was really disturbing. I looked some videos, I looked up some articles just to confirm what I had seen today. And I was like, holy crap, that's, that's, some, pre that's some pretty serious shit. Nobody's doing anything about it. Remember, remember the, the whole thing, Nazis were, this was some right-wing myth. 
It was a right-wing myth that was well-recorded by everybody. And then, oh, and th this and that. And it's always right-wing myths. COVID was a right-wing myth until everybody got it. This, I just love this. It's over and over and over again. If, if you're not right, you're just not, you're, you're not right. If you're not right, you're not right. That's the whole thing. You, you're, you're in, you always will err toward uh, being just plain out wrong because you're not right wing. And, uh, and it won't be something different for a long time. And because uh, now, uh, I mean, well, because as I like to say frequently, especially on Facebook, accuracy is the bailiwick of the right.